very warm welcome to my dear learners. Now, here I am going to begin with my first lecture in history for you. So, as you all know, the title of the chapter is From the Beginning of the Time. The title itself tells us about how the existence of human being came in the earth and how archaeologists will search through the tools and the bones of human being and then they came to know the different phases of the growth of human being. Children, to understand the story of human evolution, we need to understand how human being arrived in the earth. Evolution means the existence of human being in the earth or the existence of any species, living organism in the earth that is called as evolution. So to understand this we need to understand through time zone. Now let us draw this time zone. This is very important in history to make time zone. So it starts basically in this chapter, first chapter your time zone is starting from 5 million years in M by A means million years ago to 1 BCE. What is the full form of BCE? Before common era and MYA million years ago. So this time period we are going to see how the story of human evolution arised. Now this we, have, we can draw like this 5 million very interesting with the help of timeline. So with the help of timeline we can understand different phases and the growth of human being how does it took place. Maybe in this phase human being might have learned how to live in a cave and then in next phase they might have learned how to tame animals, how to collect their food, how to go for hunting and then when they started for hunting we know that they might have invented tools. So children up to this, we understood that human life must existed around 5.6 million years ago. It means what I mean to say, the first creature like human being must have originated around 5.6 million ago, years ago in the earth. Now, the question comes that how do we come to know about the story of human evolution? It means the existence of human being. How do we come to know? So there are several sources from which we come to know about their presence. Children, anthropologists and archaeologists, they used to go with the great research and their studies from which they used to tell us about various sources from which we can understand the story of human evolution. So first one is human fossil. The first human fossil which was being turned into the form of stone was received in the Neander Valley and this Neander Valley is located in Germany. So in year 1856, in year 1856, the first human skull was being discovered by all these groups of anthropologists and archaeologists, those who used to study about the ancient fossils. Now, could this become a very important fossil? Through that, we came to know that yes, human being might have existed million years ago in this earth. The story of human skill in year 1856, it was handed over to Carl, who was the local school headmaster and he was a natural historian. He predicted that this human skull do not belong to human being. So, for further study, that skull was being prepared in the plaster cast and then it was sent into the Germany in the hands of anthropologist and anthropologist. In time children, what happened on 24th November 1859, Charles Darwin, Charles on the origin of species. So children, what he said in this book that human beings are originated from animals and now our evidence became more strong about that human beings are being generated Animals. Now the second topic is then what are the stages of the human evolution? 
divided into three categories. Life primates, the first stage of evolution of human being were called as primates and it took place around 360 lakh million years ago. And the next phase of the growth was called as hominoids and it took place around 24 lakh million years ago. And the next phase was called as hominids and their duration was around 5.6 lakh million years ago. So children, you might remember that I told you that human existed in the earth around 5.6 lakh million years ago. So here the story of human being arises and the present man which we are right now that starts from this phase. About 1.6 lakh million years ago. So let us understand the features of primates. How does it look like? So as we said that primates are the subgroup of large group of mammals. So these mammals include your ape, monkey and human. Now another features of primates that they have here in their body. Also, one more unique feature they have that they have long duration of giving birth to their young ones. It means they take long time, take long period of giving birth to young ones. And next features that they have different types of teeth. Different types of teeth. Another feature that they can maintain can maintain their body temperature. of primates now it's the turn of hominoids and hominids so let us see how does they both differ from each other so hominids one point of differentiation is already mentioned here their origin time like around 424 lakh million years ago hominoid originated in earth and then hominoid originated around 5.6 lakh years ago now another point is that that they have hominoid have a small size brain, small brain, whereas hominids have large brain. This is very important to remember. Again, next point is they used to walk on four legs. So, hominoid used to walk on four legs, whereas hominids they used to walk on two legs. See, children, from here only we can categorize that how much we have changed from this phase to this phase. Means in this phase of hominoid, we were using our two hands as leg and we were walking with the help of four legs. And do you know the creature who used to walk with the help of four legs it is called as quadra. And the creature who used to walk in the two legs they were called as bipedal in the terms of history. So these were the important features which differentiate from each other. Now here one more point is there towards the reproduction that the hominoid used to take long period to give birth of their 
young one. Whereas hominid take less period to give birth of their young ones. So these are the common points which we can remember in the form of differentiation. Before going to wrap up this topic, it is very important that what are those questions which used to always used to come in the examination. These are number one for short question always it is being asked differentiate between hominoid and hominids. So in this way in easy terms you can remember all these points. Again sometimes it is being asked in small questions like what do we understand by primates. Again further it might be asked that what are the features of primates and in long question answer it might be asked that what are the different stages of human evolution and how they were being categorized. Questionnaire on the basis of concept understanding, I am going to end up my first lecture. Before that, don't forget to mention your answers in comment. Meet you soon in my next lecture. Stay happy and stay healthy.